In this video, we'll be reviewing service C formations for our middle school teams. Here is a formation with the setter at right front. We're trying to pass the ball into the green circle and get good approach angles for the middle front and the left front players. As we set the ball and it goes up to the hitter, we want to move into coverage and then recover back to our base positions as indicated by the blue arrows and now the green markings. Remember when you're in serve-receive, you have to position yourself initially into the positions on the court, right back, middle back, left back, left front, middle front, and right front. And once you're in those positions, um, after the ball is contacted by the serve, you can move anywhere on the court. Once the point ends, you have to return to those big positions. The overlap rule um, concerns the positions that are adjacent to each other. So when we look at this formation again, the right front player um, is adjacent to the right back and the middle front player it has to be in front of the right back and to the right of the middle front player at the time of service. We're trying to pass the ball into the middle of the court. It's a nice pass right in the green circle. Middle front needs a better angle on the approach on that one. Once the set goes up, everybody moves to cover. And once the ball crosses the block, we go back to our base defense as indicated by the blue arrows. Got to get three blockers at the net and the back row in the triangle as indicated by the green B's and the green lines. So those are the formations when the setter rotates into the right front position. The next two formations will be with the setter at middle front. And in this instance, we're going to take the right front player and move her over to pass the middle part of the court, which means that the middle front player will have to move in between the, middle, the right front and the left front. Remember, overlaps only occur with players that you're adjacent to. So like I said earlier, middle front has to be in between the right front and left front players and f closer to the net than the middle back player. Once the set goes up, we cover the hitter as indicated by the blue lines, and then we turn back to base defense. Three blockers at the net and the back row in the triangle. Here again is a formation with the setter at middle front. She's going to move towards the right side of the court as soon as the ball gets contacted. And then we're going to try and pass in the middle and then set and then cover our hitters. Please review this video and uh, understand where you belong on the court when the setter is right front and when the setter is middle front. If you have any questions about overlaps, please contact uh, your coach. We really want you to understand this concept.